You see, normally, when we complain about electoral commission, people think that we're just making noise. But their actions and their demeanor show that they favor one political party. Something happened on the 10th of this month. Electoral Commission wrote a letter disqualifying our parliamentary candidate. So even before we have cast one ballot, they are putting one constituency in the bag for MPP. I mean, how can you do that? In May, there was a primary. And some people were aggrieved about the primary. So they went to court for an injunction against the May primary and asked the court to order a rerun. What they wanted from the court was a rerun of the primary. So what did NDC do? In September, we said, OK, in order to resolve the issue, we are going to rerun the primary. So all of you who are interested, come and apply. We rerun the primary. The same person emerged. Then the person has filed their nomination. Then somebody writes to you, the Electoral Commission, and say the person was put under injunction for the May primary, not the September one. And based on the May primary and that injunction, you write and say you are disqualified. Meanwhile, your same Electoral Commission, even though the injunction had been placed on the May one, you came and supervised the September one. And you declared her the winner. And yet, you get a letter and you quickly write, because you are in a hurry to disqualify her, the, the nomination period has passed. NDC cannot put up a candidate at this time. So MPP will have one free constituency. This is what we say, that this electoral commission is not a neutral commission. And the point is, you know that if you say she can't run, even if she gets a judgment after you've printed the ballot, there's no way that you can replace her on the ballot. And so wait till the final analysis, make it a fait accompli, give NPP one free constituency and Memphis Central, even before any Ghanaian has cast a ballot. This is completely unfair. You know? Mr. Tete, Electoral Commission, go ask your legal department about this case. And so we are also going to injunct the Electoral Commission. You cannot print parliamentary ballot papers unless the court hears this matter and makes a determination on it. And so, and so with an Electoral Commission that is so biased, NDC, listen to me, what we have to do is that we must go into this election with our own Electoral Commission. When Azuma was going to box, and we said that Australia, they will go and cheat him, he said, I'm going into the ring with my own referee. And his referee was his fist. After he beat Jeff Fenex, and Jeff Fenex was on the ground, there's no referee in the world who can declare Jeff Fenex, who is lying on the ground, can't get up the winner. Ezu, we are going to beat MPP, knock them out, first round, hands down, so that no electoral commission can declare them the winner. But before that can happen, we must protect the vote. And let's not leave it to only our party agents to protect the vote. All of us must protect the vote. And that's why I'm saying at 5 o'clock, all of you go back to your police station. Don't leave only the two party agents there. Where you voted, go back at 5 o'clock and stay there till they finish counting the parliamentary and the presidential uh, votes, and they fill the pink sheets, they will paste a copy on the wall, you take a copy of it before you can go home. Because, yenya breko. Yenya breko. Pempe suedri, gana po yenya breko.